One of the really nice features of exam view and why I think it's it's the way to go if you want to get a bunch of questions with images into Moodle is that you can just drop pictures right in and have them come out looking beautiful and it's relatively straightforward to uh, export. So let's say we want to make this question question two here. Um, I'm going to type gibberish for the question. Well, that's pretty gibberishy. And let's say this is the answer. But I wanted to have that image that's over here. The really important thing to remember, let's say you're doing this from a PDF, is that you keep the zoom at 100%. The reason being, you want this image to be appropriately sized compared to the text. So keeping it at 100% keeps it the same relative size to the text as it was in the original. If you had this big, say 200%, the image would look cartoonishly large when you looked at it over here. So we keep this at 100% even though it may look a little small on our screen. What you do is you use the snapshot tool in Adobe. If that's not there you can add it to the toolbar. And I actually have to pause the video to allow me to take the snapshot but you'll see what I do. I'm back. I've just drawn the rectangle and heard the click as it takes the snapshot here. And I can literally just paste or as I like to do control V the image right in there and when we record that it comes out looking pretty nice now let's say for some reason that you don't really care for the size of this image not so much the size but the quality of the image and you want to take the time into making a new one you can do that but my strong recommendation is that you still copy and paste this and then you edit it in a program like Paint. And the image that you recreate should be around the same size. Again, just because you want the size to look appropriate. So you might do this and then maybe delete this all and, and, and have a field day making new lines, etc. Uh, to get the image, you would want to then copy this and paste it in just like you would have from the, from the PDF file. Uh, so that's how you work with images. It's really simple. I also want to point out that this image doesn't have to go in the stem of the question. You can just as easily put it in the uh, answer choices themselves, like so. One thing I do want to mention, a lot of times when questions have images for choices, sometimes they might be labeled with numbers. Uh, for example, Here's a question, question 22, that has the picture labeled with a number, which means in the choices, you probably don't want to mix them up because that's going to really annoy your student. So what I would do in that case is I would switch the scramble option to none. This way one goes in the first spot, two goes in the second, three goes in the third slot, etc. The other thing which I'll talk about in a, a second video in, in just a second is what to do when multiple questions depend on the same image. In the Regents Physics exams for the older ones, that's how all of these older sections work. They often have uh, one image or one setup that then multiple questions depend on. And to do that, you're going to have to use something called a narrative, which I'll describe in the next video.